I'm Rock. And this is The Bourbon Barrel. It is. He's right. It's he true. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so today we are going to do something a little bit different, a little special, because uh, these are all aged 12 years. So nice. uh, pretty cool um, that we were able to find three different expressions that have a 12-year age statement on them. Uh, we've got a 1792, mm-hmm. aged 12 years. It says so right there. Oh, fair and enough. Then we've right. got the Knob Creek 12. Does it say so? Yeah. Right, right there? Right there. Oh, okay. 12 year age. And lastly, we have this that took me a year and a half to buy to actually get is the Weller 12 year. Not to say you had to save up because it's. No, like, you know, I got it for MSRP, MSRP is, which is great. He's 60 was, bucks. Yeah, I got it for like 60 bucks. Yeah. However, some. The uh, the great thing about it was that I was on a list for a year and a half to, to get it at that price. So I can't I can't complain. I got one. That's how we do. That is. It's awesome. Sometimes you got to wait patiently for the good ones. But very, yeah. very true. Yeah. It's true in life as it is in bourbon. <laughs> so we are going to start with 1792. We're going to start here with the uh, 1792. And this is the old bourbon. Kind of doing it weird. We're not going up in proof or anything because the Knob Creek is the highest proof at 100. Okay. And this one's a 96.6 proof. Okay. Ooh. So, 1792 is uh, Barton Distillery, mm-hmm. uh, owned by Sazerac. So, it's kind of under the same umbrella as Buffalo Trace in a way. Um, also, said to be starting. The process of, and I've actually heard recently this week, uh, some comments on it that they're going to be making the early times. Uh, early times was they an bought old it out. Yeah, they bought it from the label from Brown Foreman, mm-hmm. and now they're going to make it at, use Barton's Distillery to make it. Sazerac bought the brand, and they're using the Barton Distillery to make what they're going to put in as early times. But I saw an episode recently this week of one of the shows, uh, probably Bourbon Real Talk, maybe, where they talked about they're or they're already hearing people say some of the bottles coming out now taste different, and they had bought the stock from Brown Foreman, and they said they were going to use that, but then start using Barton to make the new stuff of early times. So I don't know if you know what I mean. People I, are just thinking that it should taste different, so it does. Is it planted in their head where there are? Or if it's because they bought they, the whole stuff, they, they bought everything and they're are mixing they adding it differently. Something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. See, There's these so are the questions. So many, man. It's just it's out there. There's so much out there. So it, it, you can just get you can go down this rabbit hole, and I've done it a few times. Where we it's did like, that a couple weeks ago. I got like three. Yeah, I remember. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. So much so that I want more of it. But mm-hmm. and but I have some at home, so I'm good. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, nonetheless. So 1792 12. 1792 12. Do you recall if, what you thought of this product? I loved all of these. All of them? All. Of them. They were all good. Interesting. They were very delightful. Was the 12 year in our 1792 thing from way back when? Mm-hmm. Was it? Was yes. 1792 foolproof? This is full. It was small batch, no. foolproof, and 12 year. Small batch, foolproof, and 12 year. Yes. It was the red, okay. the black, right. and the gray. Well, you know what they made too that I've never seen? The yellow one, which is. Sweet wheat is, is the one. That is? Well, there's one called sweet wheat. I don't, I'm so, not going to say I know what the yellow is. The 1792, color. these little things change color based on what one they are. So the small nice. batch is red, the foolproof is black, the 12 year is this gray. Is, okay, is evident here. Oh, so it's and there's a the color. Yes, there's oh, a well, yellow, well, a yellow thing around it. And I don't know what it is. I've never I seen it. I'm gonna guess the sweet wheat. Fair enough. Because uh, it's the next episode we're doing is a, a weeded battle. Because I got Larceny barrel proof, and we got some Maker's Mark cast strength, and we're gonna we're gonna battle the two weeds out and see what happens with Will Wheaton. Um, <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? He's not so big that he might not come on the show. But we oh <laughs> no. Out but he's not so big that he like would have you know what i mean uh, yeah that's good. Have a that's, a, that's a real good way to get him on like oh yeah he's not that important well, but he's just, will be in he's he's stand by me and he's the, wait, is he stand by yeah okay um no the cool cool thing i the cool the funniest thing i ever saw about will wheaton was uh he he was on Twitter and uh, he he was getting mad because everyone keeps saying "shut up, Wesley," which his uh, star his, his Star Trek character was Wesley Crusher, and so uh, this is not going to be PC by far. Oh, um, you're the one that does the editing, so do whatever you want. It's Sir Patrick Stewart. Oh, so I feel like it's okay. Oh, dang. Um, so he, so Will sends out this tweet. He's like, the next. He's like, I'm gonna. He says something to me. He's like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of the next person that 
says shut up wesley right there right. to me and so right under that you see sir patrick sir says shut up oh you better you better you better i'll mute, mute, mute that one word just mute it. but i thought that was the funniest thing ever is like sir patrick stewart just goes like you know what shut up yeah <laughs> wow Oh, I thought that was the most hilarious thing ever. We would we would quadruple everything we have on our show if Patrick Stewart even commented <laughs> on something that was like, oh god. But that was that was super it, super it funny thing. Th- okay, so we, uh, first off, what uh, this was good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of like I, I don't know. It's good back in the line of bourbon. It's again, yeah. okay. So it's kind of getting into what we were sort of discussing was like it's twelve year, but it's also what proof ninety something ninety six point six. So at twelve year, it, you know, yeah. if it was cask strength, we would be tasting wood, 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 wood. Mm-hmm. I would assume. Um, I it's, it's now blended it's, well. It's it's blend like it's, I'm not tasting a variation of things that have like dis dissociated from themselves. Right. It's all one cohesive flavor. Right. Um, it's not, there's not a lot of burn, right? That stays or lingers. I mean, no, 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 almost no burn, but all I'm almost thinking it's smooth for, and there's not, it's not overly woody, right? No, 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 not, no, 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 it was not woody at all. It was more buzz. Nice. This one must be Bo Pizza. It's just, uh, it's a weird dichotomy of the ooh they the years aged and then but they proofed it it's, down and it's it, it's aged into a smoothness and then maybe it's, it's definitely not cask strength at under a hundred I mean obviously yeah, yeah. but 1792 does barrel their barrel there at 125 which is the legal limit uh, to barrel it when you put it in the barrel mm-hmm. um, like wild turkey only does 110 they don't go to there Weller only does 114. Yeah. Um, for the well, there's the weeded mash bill of Buffalo Trace. Um, there's a lot. There's just not that many wheats either. That's the other thing. That's why I remember the sweet wheat because I was building this episode over here that we're going to do with the Larceny and the Woodford Wheat. Has a weeded, and there's they have a weeded whiskey. Mm-hmm. So, but it's not. But mm-hmm. that one because we I thought about buying those bottles too. They've got all these Woodfords now that are mm-hmm. like this is the single malt, this is the wheat, this is the and it's separate bottles and it's. Yeah. That could be interesting to try to help with flavor, you know, like picking out when you we if we tried those, perhaps. And those are relative; they're like thirty five bucks each. They're not, you know. And then the, you got the, bare the double. Pick. The double oak is like well, double. Yeah. yeah, but those, those flavor grain ones that are different, and they have different labels too. It's like the red says yeah. wheat, and the blue says whatever. Woodford is one of those Malt ones dry. that's like always on the bar cart. Like all my friends it's enjoy dry. it, and it, I don't feel bad mixing like a regular Woodford with like a Woodford and Coke kind of thing. Oh, no. It's, no, no, no. But it's it's a it's a staple, yeah. Like bourbon, yeah. the Woodfords are. But that's not neither here nor there. We're on to the Knob Creek, which is uh, a yeah, so massive, we, massive distiller as well. Just get rambling about whiskey and bourbon. It's it's just, so, so have it, man. All righty then. Twelve year hundred proof. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Now this is the highest proof of the trifecta here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So not a wood cork. Oh, more synthetic again. I, I think actually, is it more, more synthetics? I'm hoping. I really like the fact that I like the synthetics because I don't have to go and flip all my, you know, right, right. whiskeys every month. It's not going to disintegrate. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have a small batch where the cork came unglued from the little, like, metal, whatever this is, like, top part because I probably didn't flip it enough. <laughs> You it should always flip it. It also I fell mean, on the floor, which well, that's insane. never a loss, probably. But yeah, I had uh, I had shelf failure and came down here, and there was a bunch of bourbon that was not where it was supposed to be. Nothing broke, thankfully. However, the small batch seventeen ninety two was open and evaporating. <laughs> so, it's sorry. <laughs> I've, I've since fixed the shelf failure by putting a chip clip up so it doesn't come back down and knock everything off. So hopefully that's my boy. That works. All right. That's a, you know, complex problems require complex solutions. <laughs> I have, have, as of now, I have yet to ever drink any beam product, smell any beam product where I, oh, where I will immediately think nutty and everybody else, when they talk about beam, anything mentions nuttiness. 
everybody. Not not the maybe, whole time. Maybe, it always comes up. There's always maybe, nuttiness in it. You listen to a bunch right. of nuts. So the nuts. Well, you know, <laughs> it's that would be well. Number one, today is insult day because we already insulted the store. We like, um, and uh. I thought this was like something you found on Google. It's like natural. No, no, no. Because then it's like it's a hamster and all this nutty stuff. Oh. <laughs> all the nutty stuff is from other podcasters who have a bazillion more people than we do watching their shows. So it's like I'm going to put in our keywords in this video: nutty, nutty. It's gonna happen. This is nutty. Nutty. They uh, IBN has a T-shirt that says "Nutty Squad." Nice. Like, you know what I mean? Or something like that. I might be paraphrasing the t-shirt, but it looks cool. So, do you ever, do you immediately have any nuttiness when you drink any of the beams? Uh, the beam lines, the beam products? I can see why people might think nutty on the on the nose here. But that's not what my first inkling would be. Like, my first inkling would probably be, like, a... No, I'm just getting a soft, a soft caramel vanilla, but not a. I'm getting, I'm getting the, the wood. I'm getting a little bit like of a light fruit. There's I was thinking of fruit, like a something like not like a like a like a grape, but more like a pear, uh, something like something light. Like, you're right. Yeah, like not apricot, apple, but, but something. Okay, okay. maybe. Um, I don't know. Yeah. But let's go in. I've had it. it tastes delightful. Yeah. Well, there it is. The 15 year, like on the first episode ever, or second episode oh, yeah. ever. We, we, that bottle's gone. Yeah. Well, they have those readily now. We just died. I mean, I see them. It's but still like 125 100. bucks. Yeah. yeah. So it's pulling that trigger. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I, I I just bought a bottle of uh, what single barrel reserve. Yeah. Because uh, it just came back here where mm-hmm. we are in upstate New York. Um, And it was like 50 bucks. Right. And I'm, don't get me wrong. Cool, I, you know? I, I love, that. I enjoy Knob Creek. Like, me too. Me too. Yeah. I would mix a lot of Knob Creeks with different things to make different cocktails. I'd drink it straight, as is evident here. The problem I have is that after the nine year, it starts going up in price pretty quick. Like this 12 year was, I think, 70. Yeah. Something yeah. There. But and the nine year is very affordable. That's the nine year baseline, basically. Yes. And it's like and 35 it's, bucks. Which is wild for a nine year. So that's yeah. great. Like, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. It's, it's well, you know, between that you know, 50, 50, $60 price point. Yeah. This is probably closer to that 80 price point. Yeah. And then, of course, the 15 year, three more years than this. And then there's the, I think there's 125, right? Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of something. I think that's Elijah Craig. Yeah, could be. Could be. Well, it's definitely Elijah Craig, but I mean, you know. You know what's wild? Other people are allowed to do 18. Elijah Craig doesn't have a 12-year anymore. They used to. It's right there. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. That's it's, the, uh, uh... Yeah, go grab it. I, we, can, we can show you guys what the bottle used to be. Sleep loss. That's how I roll. <laughs> Small batch. Yeah. Pick it up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> not, not, that would have been a great camera moment, and I wasn't on camera. <laughs> So they used to That's have old they, ass. But they used to have a twelve year Elijah Craig, and they don't have it anymore. But is it um, so? Is this was this the old small batch, or was there a small batch that looked like this, but also a twelve year version of it? This is not the original small batch. This okay. is a twelve year version of. Because the normal proof of this normal small batch now is ninety four. Yeah, no, that's uh, yeah, no, that's wild to me that they don't do that anymore. They went straight to the eighteen, and a lot of people are like. Eh. You got a Calamari right there. Uh, it's not mine. Well, I mean, <laughs> there is a Calamari. That's fair. Calamut or whatever. Yeah. It's only an 86 proof. Huh? Yeah, 86. Yeah. 86 it. Yeah. Get, rid of, get rid of it. True story. But no, Nob. Nob does good work. A lot of stuff back here and just being careful. So I watched a, no. uh, I watched a video of Irish people trying, like, the strongest alcohols, and one of them was, like, a Nob Creek barrel proof. <laughs> right, right. And they're like, why did they name it Nob? What, does Nob mean the same thing in the U.S. that yes. it means over here? No. <laughs> yeah. I've like, never heard of the origin either. I've never found that or looked for that or anything like that. Like you're a Nob. Like apparently it's an insult over there. Right. It's kind of fun. So that might be why Nob Creek doesn't sell so well in the U.K. Could be. It could be. For sure. For sure. Your corks. What bullshit episodes? Yeah, yeah. I I don't have anything in here about the twelve year stuff. That's okay. So it's all good. it's like normal bourbon, but aged longer. That's right. Oh, that was much. That was much. That was much. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh God, it's uh, Knob Creek and Jim Beam in general. Like mm-hmm. then you get into the Booker's, the Little Book. Like 
hard, hard, hard stuff to find. Like Buffalo Trace is expanding because all their stuff is allocated essentially at this point. Like it's hard to find a Buffalo Trace product that isn't allocated. Aside and, from like their base stuff. But see, that's the, yeah, and that's kind of the beauty of the Knob Creek. And I, I know I don't know that or, or and or Jim Beam, Centauri, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you get you get uh, because of the volume, you get the price points down to a respectable level where right. it, some of those crafty guys. I, I had the same conversation with the guy at Foster's. That we, yeah. Right, the guy at Foster's, the awesome guy at Foster's, the coolest and most awesome guy I've ever met in my whole life yeah, at Foster's. <laughs> um, we were just having the conversation about how he tried some of the Duck Swinson stuff yeah. and this, that, and the other, and he says, but we can't get it here to sell right. or whatever, some of those exploratory kits and stuff. And I said, and mm -hmm. if you did, and then we get talking about it, I was like, he sell, they sell it for like 80-something bucks. I was like, you might get a little bit of a discount on that, but then you're going to have to try to charge 100 plus for it yep. just to make a profit to run your business. Absolutely. And because it's on the West Coast and everything yeah, else, as it is go. now, he only has two offerings of Doc, and he used to have three all the right. time. Yeah. You know, and well, he, the New York exclusive not, isn't back. So. Right. Well, hopefully he does another one of those, or they get in another offering of it. Yeah. But if it doesn't sell enough, he's not going to buy more of it, and then they're going to have a price point that high. And it's Well, I mean, so... Because the, of all the, the things they do. The Bottles I bought were like ninety plus dollars after tax and shipping to get here. Right. So I mean, if that from their uh, website, the and from Doc Swinson, it's not secondary. It's, yeah, it's not something that they can get from their distributor, so they're going to be paying retail price for it. So you're going to look at like a hundred twenty. Can they legally pay retail, like buy it like we did, and then put it on a shelf and resell? See, it? I don't know because it would have to be part of their liquor license or part of their distribu distribution. So See? I don't know if you know that uh, legally speaking, and but, it's yeah. yeah. I don't it's, know. But, and the stuff is just so good, though. It's like, so good. I like, want to buy a smoke on the water, but I just, but, you yeah. know. It's it's going to be 90 bucks after taxes and fees. Yeah. yeah, and it's... And that's not to say that it's not worth it. Oh, it's, no. It's no. just that, you know... We're blue the, collar people. The economy yeah. and money's tight. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been working. I have three really. kids <laughs> that I'm aware of, so... Um, <laughs> well, I always make that joke to you. I should at least <laughs> throw it back on myself every once in a while. But it's like, you know, and it's Christmas time now as far as you're getting into you're it. Getting the holidays, into like Thanksgiving, stuff, Christmas, you know, right. and, you know. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, there's always reasons to save money. There's hardly reasons to, you know, it, spend it. This taste, this nose is 100% different. Like, again, we're doing that. I always wheat. notice that. Like, it's wheat. It's Knob wheat. Creek always tastes wildly different than anything else. It's not a bad thing. But, but, just, but it's not nutty, though, right? When you, when you put it into other, like, things like this, it's like, I find, I if I try something else first, I like the other thing more than I like the knob. If I try the knob first, I like the knob more than I like the other thing because their grain profiles have to be vastly different. Right. Like, right. There's, there's nothing that tastes quite like knob. And it's not a bad taste. It's just different. It's like you how you would explain, uh, you know, right, painted right. sketches. Right, 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 right. It's different. It is always different. Yeah, it's, it's different. shitty, but it's different. It's different. <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes we got I'm gonna buy a bottle of that Octomore. I never even see it. It's not even here. I don't know where yes. it is. The he the heaviest peated whiskey. Um, and it just just because we just gotta try it, just so you can be like. Ah, ah, I, went, I went to my I went to my buddy's house the other night, and he made me drink some Red Breast, and I was like. It's whiskey. What rest of red breast was it? Was it just uh, like baseline red breast? I don't think so. No, no. This is this is something special to him. They have a twelve year, but the twelve year is proof down to eighty two. That's the problem. It's an eighty dollar bottle, and mm -hmm. it's eighty proof, and that's what bothers me about the prices. All right, like I know there's tariffs and stuff that yeah, come yeah, over and all that. I get that it probably is going to be a little bit higher, but if I want to try one of these. Because I hear about it, I read about it, I watch about it, I see all these things, and I'm like, I give one of these a try. It's just like I can't. I can get this stuff for half that price, right? And and it. I know it's just as good, if not better. So it, and that's the that's the balancing. Yeah, just like, like with the Doc Swinsons, it's all the balancing, the prices, and the trying. And this was his like. This was my first time going to his like new house, so I brought him a bottle of Legend. Nice. Um, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. You and then where do you, it, that, that's another very good point. You think of something else that be, that any other company does, where it's like the whiskey, two different whiskey distillers mm -hmm. coming together from across the globe yeah. to make something because it's the one guy from Centauri and it's the other guy like Freddie No and coming together to make mm -hmm. that Legion or Legend or whatever yeah. we decided. <laughs> you know, and it's I still have a bottle of that too. But again, that's readily available. Like yes, yeah, I yeah, often thought about just over. Well, I figured that was like a nice segue because he he loves his red breast. It's nice. nice. So I figured that was something that kind of. Smooth him into the bourbon side of things. It is. It is. 
red breast is jesse loves red breast yes, you know absolutely. it's kind of i i love everything well, this one does because it's so tasty it's good. I I liked the red. I haven't opened the Listau because that's just gonna sit till we figure out if we're sending we're something to Jesse that, yeah, and what we're doing. I'm not opening that. The right. Oak Stave thing is only open because we tried it and we sent it out to Whiskey Dick Bill, and he's gonna put it on Wheel of Doom at some point. He said go. we have. I haven't seen it yet, but he'll do it when he feels like it. That's I don't care. Yeah, it's his business. That's um, exactly right. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, yeah just what is happening off this twelve year with the Weller twelve? That's you know, we didn't. It's hard, so, really hard to find. So noticeably different than these. So noticeably there's, there's different. There's a much sweeter the, nose than, again. I don't want to say soft. It's. I don't know if that's right. Yes. But that's what I, my, my brain is. Honestly, like, my brain kind of went back to, like, the first time we did the Colonel Taylor. Like, where it was oh, velvety. Silky. Yes. This hmm. is uh, on the nose. Right. It's just, man... Is it, do you think it's more expensive to use wheat than Soft is? is definitely the right word for that. Thank you. I, like, yeah, that is... Oh, that's good. Sorry. But I mean, like, is wheat more expensive? Like, why do not... Why, why do not? No answers? Right. Happy does the, the red wheat or whatever. I mean, it's... Happy's... I don't remember. He, I don't he does. He does a. Video yeah. Video no. No. Video okay. Some wheat. of the wheats are. It's Weller, and mm-hmm. then there's like one of the five B tacks or something, or two that. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 I think Pappy might be like the weeded, he, but he, you can't. He did you the gotta, weeded stuff. Yeah, but you can't find it. It's you, you're buying a shot of it for the price of the bottle at any yeah. bar you go to. At least now, maybe yeah. hopefully, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like with the expansion, but then the email out there is to to, to be honest. Pappy has always mm-hmm. been hard to find. Like right. ever since like the mid to like mid nineties to early two thousands, like right. Good luck finding it. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so uh no, this Weller, I'm really, really grateful that I was afforded the opportunity to buy it. And it is definitely not going to waste. Um I've definitely been sharing it because it's so hard to find that, you know, it's one of those things that's a rare opportunity to taste one. So definitely been giving up a lot of tastes to a lot of people because i enjoy it and i feel like a lot of other people i don't do too i think it's the same bottle mm-hmm. as the uh the the buffalo ones. trace like the yeah the 90 i think this is that bottle but mm-hmm. this weller is the only one with the screw tops which i don't mind oh no i don't i don't like, there's no cork to it and no. it, it keeps things sealed yeah right? i don't i i've never heard an argument for one makes any difference the, at all i think the problem is the reason why corks still exist is because corks were the way to seal bottles back when bourbons were being started and being made originally. And so now with technology being what it is, be, having the ability to machine things to make it so that it's a screw top or, you know, the plastic corks, that's a whole different thing. Stuff. And it's not that it changes the flavors. It's just that it's easier to maintain or easier to do now because of technology, technological advances. Technological advances. But uh, focus, super good, super tasty. Yeah, no, well, there's good stuff for sure. I stay. I mean, this is another thing about like, like we're gonna we keep talking about we're gonna have some retrospective show someday where we sit and discuss what we've learned, what's different, what's real, what we found, all that mm-hmm. stuff. Um, it, this kind of goes into that too, where it's like I don't know everything by any stretch of the imagination but it's the we and and the prices and 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 how you can come at or come to get it right you know what i mean and things like that and it's i don't know but it's yummy this for the price for the msrp which is around anywhere between depending on where you are in ohio some places 40, have 50, like 60, 40 bucks around mm-hmm. us it's around 60 to 70 bucks right uh in, live in new york highest tax burden yeah. in the country in buffalo in Buffalo, there is one of these on the shelf on in on the rocks, and you know how much? Guess how much? Guess how much the price is? Mm. It's why it's still there. I'll tell you that much. One hundred and fifty higher. Uh, one hundred and fifty one. No, three hundred dollars. Oh, that's why it's still there. Yeah, it's like yeah. you're. You might know if someone just came from one of the casinos with like a hefty win, you well, might sell it. But other than yeah. that, everyone who knows what this is and what's it, what it's worth. Not going to be paying three hundred at an actual retail store. It's absolutely true. It's one hundred percent true. I and couldn't even fathom it. I, there's no way. There's, like I'm really grateful that I got this for around that sixty dollars price point. Because I mean, anything under a hundred dollars, absolutely, it's yeah. it's worth it to me. Oh, because yeah, it's yeah. so hard to find. 
Yep. But at three hundred dollars, that is no longer worth it, and that is not even on a secondary market. That's from a store, right? <laughs> but they're price gouging. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, price that's, gouging. Yeah. Again, luckily we don't have that around here mm -hmm. that I've ever seen thus far. Yep. Knock on not wood. Um, you know, <laughs> knock on. Yeah, man. Let's see, none of them but, are real. And so there's other There's stores in Buffalo that I won't name that also have it at a real high price point. But my buddy and I were talking, and he found out it's like. It's kind of like a loyalty rewards thing. Like if someone, oh. someone's in there and they're buying a lot of things, right? They say, "How much is it?" They get three hundred bucks. They're like, "Yeah, but I'm in here all the time, spending money." It's like, "All right, I'll give you tea for like one hundred fifty because it's true. it's like it's a way to deter people who aren't there regularly. Well, like if they buy it, then yes, yeah, yeah. But then like if one of their regulars is in there, like, "Hey, I got this, and I'll give you a deal on it," right? Because you're always here, right? Right. So that 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 kind of makes me feel a little bit better about it. But it also kind of makes me feel like shit. Well, and I, some okay. people don't have the money to spend there all the time. They but that plays I mean, with price. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then again, I'm without playing with the price point mm -hmm. because of but using what you're talking about with the being there. Yeah. I also experienced that at other places where it's like I'll go to CP <laughs> and um, then uh, I'll just be walking around looking around, and either Shannon or Braden will walk up to me and be like, "Hey, I've got X Y Z out back. Do you want one?" Like, you know, yeah, yeah. Because he no. just see they just they see, see me and they know, the and they're time. like, you know, and I'm like, "Oh hell yes, yeah, sir. Oh, I can't afford that right now, but thank you for offering it to me. I appreciate it, though." I'm, but they, that has nothing to do with them upping or downing the price, right? Me. So there, there is a variable there that isn't. In, but just be nice to people when you're in the places. Yeah. Like if you're in those places, don't treat them like jerks. Like, right. You and know, if you, they might you have know, shit you want, and as soon as you look at them wrong, you're never getting that shit. Right. But yeah, if you can establish your, this goes back into the establish those relationships with the people that work. True. And that's how you get things like a uh, sample of Kelvin sixteen. From that's right. One of their one of the workers there. Absolutely. Um, I got both my mean, EH tailors yep. just because. Like, yeah. it wasn't even like. You know, I think maybe one of the two, I was like, you don't have to have a tailor back there, do you? Like the second one? Yeah. The first one was like, hey, I've got a bottle open. I was like, oh, really? Yeah. That was the time that she said she had one more, and that was way back, like the second episode. And you were, you know, yeah. go back and watch all our episodes. Ray in there to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so 12 year aged. Would you actually pick a winner here? Or is there even a way to do that? I don't know if you can because. I like the taste profile of this. Right. I like the smoothness of this. Yes. The taste wasn't bad either. No, 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 no. Uh, and this is readily available. Like, right. I, I can't find this. <laughs> I can't find this on the shelf. I can't find this on the shelf. This I can find on the shelf. This is this is how he picks out women, too, by the way. This is how he does it. He's like, this one tastes good. This one's readily available. This one's readily available. <laughs> this one. This one's smoother than the rest. This one I have to wait for, but damn, is it good. Like, you know, I have to say you, because I'm married. I'm so. wondering if this is why I just can't find a girl, because you say these things. And... Oh, you think they all watch our show and they just don't subscribe? Where yeah, they don't, you? they don't want you to know. All you women, don't be the knob creep. Okay, because it, once Weller comes along, he's just going to get rid of you. So, you know. I think you should be the weller. You should be sweet, and you should make him earn it, and then he's going to love you. And Are we still even? We have volume? Okay, yeah. We're good. All right, so. uh, yeah, if you find any of these on your shelves, go out, grab them, try them, enjoy Especially them. Especially this. If you see this yeah, on your shelf, on shelf yeah. for under 100 bucks, right, for it. the price. Yes, yes. If you see this on your shelf, grab it, because I've, I've not seen it since I bought it. What's the price of that? Do you have any idea? Yeah, full proof, right? Six. It, no, I bought this almost a year ago. Now. That's twelve year, right? Right. So this is probably somewhere in, it was in the sixty dollar, and I'm guessing it's probably closer to eighty or ninety at this point, because you know right. inflation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I just haven't seen it. Like all I see is the small batch anymore. I don't even yeah. see the full proof. Like no, no, and I've all. never seen the sweet wheat not on yeah, our shelves. Right. So if you see anything that. Is a 1792 product that doesn't have the red tag around it, right? Greg Shrek, the red tag. Yeah, Wait, no, the, 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 the red, red tag is the winner of the 1792 small batch. Is one of my like favorites for the price point and the availability. Like it's it's tasty. It's not bad for the price, and it's always available. There so, you go. Uh, with that, I'm Meat. I'm Ross. This has been the Bourbon Barrel.